first time trying it this many faces. I'm excited. How are you? Great. Yeah. Excellent. My name is Dr. McCracken. Some of you already know who I am. I've already screwed up. I promised Val that I would make. We don't have a microphone, so we're going to piece this together. So I promised her that I would do this. So bear with me. I think it's in settings, right? Okay, the voice minutes. Can I do a voice memo? Will it be too long? Yeah, it's cool. Okay, go. There's our video cue so that we can sync our audio in our video. Okay, my name is Dr. McCracken. I teach the 19 section of this 1302 experiment. How many of you already know why you're here? How many of you think you're supposed to know why you're here but have no clue why you're here? I don't know why we're here yet either. On Mondays, we're going to try to come together to talk about a concept, to share some ideas. Um, some days it'll be really interactive. Some days it'll be kind of you talking and listening to a lecture. We don't know what it's going to do every day. But what we do know is that you being here is going to be essential to your success in the class. And today, we're doing like a big picture conversation. So we're going to let, come on in, find some seats. There's plenty. You'll have to sit in the middle, though. We're going to let them sit down. While they're finding their seats, we try and figure out where the light switches are. I want you to do a little bit of writing for me. Um, and keep it on the front, because I'm going to have you do some drawing on the back of your paper. So there are two things that I want you to write about for a minute. If you've got a neighbor next to you, you can ask for help. That's cool. I don't care. But I want to know what you think makes somebody an expert. So in addition to trying to say, like, this is an expert, you can give us a really specific example, make sure that you talk about behaviors and practices. That's what I'm really interested in. What does an expert do? How do they behave? And then the same for the word novice. What do you think makes somebody a novice? Again, what are the behaviors or practices? And I will go ahead and tell you one thing. My students who have already had me know this, the only thing that makes my head literally explode, literally, if you watch Parks and Rec, is texting in my class. So if you want me to shame you in front of all of these students, try it. It will make me explode. So there you go. That's the only thing I have to say. So take a few minutes. What makes somebody an expert? What makes somebody a novice? If you don't know what those words are, you can also just write about how you don't know what those words are. There have to be lights in here, right? Oh, the lights? I think they burn in the back. I don't know why they're set up that way. Yeah. Thank you. Another 30 seconds.
experience. Somebody give me an example of an expert that has experience. Like what counts as experience? Like, am I an expert on the valley because I've been here three years? No, probably not. But I've experienced it, so what is it about experience? Like, is it experience? Say that again? Okay, so a study on something, focus study even, okay? That could count as experience. What else could count as experience? Time. Time. How much time? A lot of it, okay. So maybe it is based in years, right? Three years, probably not enough. How many of you have been here more than three years? Lived in the valley more than three years? Okay, you probably are more experts in the valley than I am. What else makes somebody an expert? What other behaviors do they have? <coughs> oh, yeah. Confidence. Confidence, okay. What do you think that's important for an expert? Their credibility. Credibility, and there was somebody over here. Knowing they're right. Oh, confidence, knowing they're right. Do you think experts only know when they're right? There's dissent. How many of you think that's a requirement for expertise? Being able to say, I'm right. I know it. Being able to say you're wrong. Oh, why do you think being able to say you're wrong could be important? You're honest. Okay. Alan, right? What else about being being able to say you're wrong? Why else do you think that might be important for an expert? a mistake. I like that. What about novices? What's a novice? What makes somebody a novice? Okay, not knowing what you don't know might make you a novice. Yeah. Is that what you said? Okay. What else might make somebody a novice? A beginner. Ah. Inexperience, is that what I heard? Okay. The opposite of experience, right? What about the behaviors or practices? What do you think a, a novice does?
10 more seconds. you well. 